Hello everybody, welcome back to Dirty Bird TV. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about AR-15s, specifically running 22 long rifle in an AR-15. Right off the bat, one of the reasons why you may wanna do it is for the cost of training. 22 long rifle is a lot less expensive than 5.56. You can typically find 22 for 10 cents and under per round, whereas 5.56, you're more at 40 cents. So it's about four times the price to run the 5.56 as it is to run 22. We're gonna start off with a proprietary dedicated 22 long rifle like this. You could grab an additional rifle to fit your training needs like this, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. It is an excellent rifle, extremely, extremely reliable, but it's not my favorite option for 22 in an AR because it is just that. It is a 22 AR. That's it, that's what you get. The next option is gonna be a dedicated upper receiver like this that is set up for 22, and you're gonna be able to just pop that on your lower, put the dedicated magazine in it, and run 22. If this were my, my actual rifle that I was gonna rely on, that I have in my home defense loadout or my SHTF rifle, I don't really like to switch parts on it. I wanna train with it as is. So. Obviously, that would mean I'd have to train with this. Well, thankfully, there's my favorite option, the CMMG conversion kit. This kit simply remove my bolt carrier out of my standard 556 or 223, replace it with this bolt carrier, toss in this magazine, and I am able to run 22 long rifle out of my rifle. So now I have my rifle, which I can switch back to 556 should I need it, or if that's the way that I keep it for my loadout. But when I go to the range, I could run 22 long rifle, save a bunch of money on training. Now I did get extra magazines, and if I were buying one, I would definitely recommend getting the three magazine kit because it's a, a lot more fun to have extra magazines. But anyways, teaching my son with the 22, it was a lot of fun. The low recoil, the low noise made him less timid to get behind it and plink with it. Now that he's grown, he is loving shooting 223 and 556. If I were going to do it all over again and I were looking for a new rifle to teach my son how to shoot, I still wouldn't go with a proprietary dedicated 22. And I'll tell you why. I would go with something like this MP 15. This is a 556 rifle. The reason why I would go with that rifle or any basic 556 is because I can put this kit in it and then as my son grows I would be able to switch it over and have 556 in it. That could be part of a defensive loadout. It could just be in general it's a multi-purpose rifle and to me that makes the most sense. So all right guys that's my take on it. Let me know in the comments section down below if you agree, disagree, what you think. If you have any experience with one of those conversion kits, was it good? Was it bad? Don't forget hit that like button and subscribe. Check the bell to be notified when future content comes out. As always I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video.